Class 11.11 .11, SSD Processor and Reports In this task, we will view a few reports and we will process our SSD processor and view the detail. Now let's do the first task under task 11.11 .11, which is A. View SSD instant info for the period of current month. So to view the instant info, you may go under text, then you select under SSD, SSD instant info. Wait for a while until the system read for your company SSD instant info. And this is the text code of purchase and supply that already involved in your transaction of current month. And as you can see here, the P10 for the taxable amount is 1600, but the tax that involved under this P10 is 160 ringgit. For P5, 65 ringgit. PS6, 67 ringgit and 20 cent. And for supply tax code of SV6, is already charged with 169 ringgit and 81 cent for the local tax. Now, let's go to the B. B, we will run SSD processor for the period of current month. So let's go to tax, click on SSD, then click on SSD processor. We assume at the end of the month of current month, we want to submit our SSD return to the custom. So we want to process our SSD processor and want to see the result. So what you need to do, click on the new button since we never process any SSD processor. So that's why your SSD processor layout is empty. So once you click on new button, it will appear with the SSD processor wizard. Now, this wizard is similar with the text code wizard. It will help you to identify is there any of the transaction that you forgot to not off or you have any advanced payment. So we click on next. To manage SSD payment rule, if you have any unapplied amount, the document will be appear on your SSD on payment and you have to clear for the, the transaction. And on the next following month, when you do the second SSD processor, automatic it will appear under reverse apply payment. Since we don't have any, just click on next. Then completing the SSD processing correction, completing the SSD processor wizard, just click on finish. Congratulations, you are ready to generate SSD return for the period of current month. Do you want to generate SSD return now? Click on the button yes. And this is our SSD return summary. And as you can see here, the result is similar with our SSD instant info. Now, before we proceed to view our SSD02 on service, we have received a letter from RMCD, which is Royal Malaysia Custom Department, penalty the late registration, which is 2%. Now, to enter your penalty, receive so you have to click under others ssd02 info now the name of the clearance you may enter the person in charge to submit this ssd processor the identity card passport number you have to enter your passport number designation of the clearance i assume manager this is for example telephone number Penalty rate, you have to enter 2%. So you don't need to enter any symbol or percentage. Just enter 2. The clearance date will be automatic 1st of November. Even though the SSD returns every 2 months, but in our previous task, we already mentioned that submission every 1 month. So once you have done, you click on OK. Now, Let's view our SSD02 on service tax. This is our SSD02 service tax. You may click to hide option. Now let's go through our SSD02 on service tax. 
For SSD, it's different with GSD. If GSD, all the sales and service will be included together under SSD uh, correction under GST 03 form. But compared to the SSD, SSD for the sales form and the service form is separate. So now let's go through. We look on the part A. The part A is registered manufacturer or the reg registered person particular. So you can see our SSD registration number, our company name, our taxable period will start on 1st of October. So for one month, it will end until 31st October. And our return and payment due date is 30, 30th of November. So we must do the SSD return and pay back, if any, before this date. Now let's scroll down. Part B1 is a sales and service tax. This one will involve with the tariff code. If you have any sales or any involved with tariff code, it will be listed down here. Now scroll down as we can see, our value of taxable service include value of debit note if 2930 ringgit 90 cent. Now we scroll down, part B is a value of tax payable for goods, which is sales, disposed on use or service services performed or on use. Now we scroll down for the A, uh, 11 is total value of tax payable as per tax rate. For A, it's a good at 5% rate, we don't have any. And then for B, is tax serviceable goods at 10% rate, we also don't have. But for the taxable services, other than from group H, we have 6% which is total of tax payable is 175 ringgit 81 cent. And then we scroll down as you can see here, the taxable service from group H is 25 ringgit, but here there's no value. So the total tax that we have to pay is 175 ringgit 81 cent. Now we scroll down if you have any tax deducted, but we do have tax deducted from credit note 6 ringgit. And then scroll down. The penalty. This is the tax before penalty imposed, which is 169 ringgit 81 cent. But after we have entered the value of 2% penalty rate is 3 ringgit 40 cent. So the total tax payable inclusive penalty is 173 ringgit 21 cent. We have to pay later. Now you scroll down. On the part C is goods under schedule 2, sales tax order or tax rate 2018. So here there's no value. Part D, sales or services exempted from sales tax. Also, we don't involve any. Part E, purchase under the schedule C, sales tax, which is person exempted from payment of sales tax order 2018. We don't have any. And the last part, which is part F, is declaration. Declaration is the person that submit of SSD return, either our own bosses, okay, or our manager, or the accounts, and have to declare in signature here. And then we scroll down. Automatic does have name of declarance. This one is follow from the one that we enter the penalty rate just now. And then we scroll down, part G is for official use. So once you're done, you click back the show option. Now, once you have done, you may click on close. As you can see here, we already generated one SSD processor. Now, refer back to our course book E, we will view SSD transaction listing report. So to view transact uh transaction listing report you may go to tax tax transaction listing report before we committed our SSD processor we want to view first our listing report the date range is from 1st of October until 31st of October means current month there's no filter needed so what you have to do just click on inquiry you may click the plus sign to show the detail. 
You may click on preview to view in detail. Tax transaction detail by government tax code. Now we, we choose tax transaction detail listing. And this is the report of tax transaction listing. As you can see here, for SV0, taxable amount is 2500 For SV6, the total 577.02. We focused on the taxable amount column. So this is the tax transaction detail listing report. Now let's view another. Under F, we will view SSC transaction audit trail report. Now, similar with GST, just in case customer want to check your transaction listing, uh, your transaction detail, you may print out the tax tax transaction audit trail report. This one, it will list down all the transaction that you have record that involve with SST. Now, we enter the date until 31st of October. Tax date. Document date also you may change until 31st of October. Now, similar with other reports, if you see the button inquiry, you have to click first inquiry. As you can see here, this is the audit trail. All this involved with the transaction that involve with SST. You may click on preview to view in detail, check transaction audit trail by tax code. Click on OK. And this is the tax transaction audit trail listing report. Service tax 0%, this is the total. And service tax 6%, this is the total. As you can see, the total amount that we have charged our customer is 577 ringgit to a cent okay and if you scroll down for under purchase this is purchase tax code together with 10% 5% and 6% of purchase to our supplier and the total amount is 160 plus 65 plus 67 ringgit 20 cent so the customer may check under this listing and it's compulsory for you to save hard copy or your source document together with this audit trail. So the customer will check based on the this audit trail together with your hard copy. So you must be aware on this. So close this one. So let's say after you have checked, you already been confirmed. You may go back to tax. SST, SST processor, and let's say you already confirm you want to submit your SST return to custom, you may click on commit. But you must remember, once you already commit, you cannot delete the transaction. Now enter the password which is admin. Click on OK. So system will ask again, do you really want to commit this SST processor? Because once you already commit, Whatever transaction you're about to make, it will record the detail. It will record under the change tracking report. So, yes. How about we try to delete after we have done committed? You really want to delete? Yes. The system won't allow us to delete. Unable to delete SSD processor since it has it have been committed. So, you must aware if let's say you already decide want to pay the SST return to custom, then you come back and click on commit. As long as your SST processor is not commit, you can every time come back and quit SST processor and just delete whenever you want, as long as you don't commit it. So maybe some of the bosses, they want to view the SST processor once a week, better, as long as once you already process, you must delete the SSD processor. Because we're afraid that if you already generate the SSD processor earlier, and then after that you go back and do some transaction, then you forget to, to refresh or redo your SSD processor, we're afraid that the input or the result may be incorrect. Now, after we have done commit, Extra information for you. How about after I commit, then I want to do any changes? Now, 
I will give example if I go to GL cash book entry let's say I want to do some amendment example I go to this transaction and then click on edit how about if I make the edit on the date let's say I change to 21 if I click on save it will appear with the severity for the changes so the following text transaction has been processed by GST processor do you still want to continue if you continue the system will label the severity about the changes that you're going to make is low if you still proceed yes the system will automatically save for you now how you can check the changes that already be made by your staff you may go back to tax then go to the tax transaction change tracking report under here you may enter the date and created date range under 31st also and click on inquiry Automat automatic system will label all the changes that has been made on that month on the month that you already process the SSD processor so this is as security for your transaction you still can check and amend back or else later whatever you return or you pay to the custom will be incorrect so what I will do, I will go back to here and change back the date to 13. Let's do the next one is view journal entry. So we close our cash book entry. Go to GL journal entry. For your information, once you already commit your SSD processor, automatic system will generate a journal entry for you so this is the general entry that already be created for you you may double click to view as you can see this is the net total that we have to pay back to custom under sst control this is the amount that you have to pay to custom which is 173 ringgit and 21 cent so what you have to do now if you refer back to our task 11.11 .11 for the last one we have to do the payment to to our MCD so close journal entry let's go to GL cash book entry and click the new button new payment voucher so pay to you may choose either you want to enter pay to custom pay to our MCD is up to you description is SSD payment October I assume this is the current month so the date will be as you can see we will pay back to custom every first of the next following month so it will be first of November which is next following month the payment method will be by bank so click the plus sign to add a column the account number if you want to pay back to the custom, you have to choose SST control account, which is SST 4030. Then for the amount, it's 173 ringgit 21 cent. If you can't remember how much is the amount you have to pay back to the custom, you may refer back to the journal entry. And please don't select any tax code because this is the amount that we receive after supply tax code has been deducted from our purchase tax code so this is the tax the total tax that we have to pay back to custom malaysia so once you have done click on save close our cash book entry and that's all for task 11.11 .11.